Hello, Super Bob Box. My name is Leanna O'Brien, and I'm applying to be a general music teacher. Although I am trained in voice, piano, I've done classes on ukulele, on mbira, and I'm very comfortable with all these things. So if there's anything else you would like to see, please let me know. As for today, I'm going to show you what I think would be a great general music lesson for students that are learning remotely, which I had to do a lot throughout the course of my time teaching throughout 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic. The first thing that I would start with is a way to get my students up moving and absolutely loving music. I would start with a scarf dance. Now I'm a teacher who believes that music is movement. And instead of talking to a student, I would rather see them do it. So what I typically would tend to do is put on a scarf dance. Now these scarf dances, I have over 40 of them. It's usually to just classical music in the public domain. I've made my own choreography for each. And here's just a little example of how I do it and why I use it. Now this song, in the Hall of the Mountain King by Edward Grieg is a fantastic one to use because it will demonstrate dynamics, it will demonstrate articulation, and it will demonstrate tempo and all through this one energetic and upbeat song. So you can hear at the beginning, it starts very quiet. I tell my students to tiptoe, tiptoe side to side, freeze up, freeze down, tiptoe, tiptoe in a circle, freeze up, freeze down. Now, as the song continues, it's going to get louder, it's going to get faster, and by the end of it, we're going to be running in place and jumping and stomping, something like this. Go side to side, up, march in place. Does anybody hear what's happening in the tempo? March in place, get ready, run in place, run in place, jump out, jump out, jump in again, run in place, jump out, in, out, and so on and so forth. And each time it's a lot of fun for both the students and for myself. And that's why I always start with a scarf dance. Next thing that I would lead is to build some music literacy for my students. And that might look different depending on what the rest of the lesson is going to look like. In this lesson I'm showing you today, I believe that my students will need to be able to know and to review some basic solfege. So I put one on the board, ask who it is, that's Ray, and they live on a special space, so on and so forth. They're all interactive, having the students tap along with me. Maybe we made some popsicle sticks in the past with the different colors on it. Uh, maybe we're doing hand signs, whatever it is to keep the students moving and really engaged in my lesson. So they're not just looking at a screen, but they're participating. Uh, maybe we're practicing treble clef today and the different letters that come along with it. Again, students are tapping along with me. We're singing songs that are about treble clef. We're doing a whole bunch and maybe we're getting into an assessment in groups or individual and I shared this screen with you and you have to take the note at the top and move it so that it's at the right spot for an E on treble clef. Well, is there only one? Go back, see, maybe there's more. Uh, maybe we're focusing on some counting today in simple or complex and having the students go through it like that. Whatever it is, we're working on literacy so that the time comes when the students no longer need their teacher. If you can do it independently, then you can always do it. Now, that's basically the beginning. Beginning chunk of the lesson is going to have a scarf dance review on literacy so that when we then come to this part, uh, we're going to be ready for all the wonderful things. It is almost Chinese New Year, so why not read a story about what Chinese New Year is? This is called The Runaway Walk, and it's one of my favorites to use, but not just to read. To me, music is movement, literacy is key, and students learn best and remember best when you tell them something through a story. But I wouldn't just tell the story, I would also have them interact with the story. So here's a section of the story right here at the very beginning where a little boy is told to trade the coins that his mom sent him to go get food and instead to trade for a walk. And the walk says just then, the walk sang out. Well, if the walk's going to be singing, then surely we're going to need to find the walk some pitches. So I'd go to this slide and I would show them, okay, guys, well, here's the walk song. Tell me what pitches you see. Now, we just went over this, so I'm fairly sure that our students would be able to tell me, well, so lives on the second line. So it would be, so me, so, so me, 
so so me me so so me we would put in the words ask about tas and titis so on and so forth but as the story continues we're going to go back to the slides and each one is going to be a little bit different maybe this one it's more about listening and can you tell what rhythms you hear mother well that was two claps and two pretty quick claps what rhythm do we think that is it's probably going to be a tt etc etc what i love about this is you can make it as simple or as complex as you want throw in a triplet. And that's true for, I believe, the rest of them. Yep, no, because we also have some half notes. Skippity, hoppity, skippity, hoppity, ho, so on and so forth. Having the students participate in the story that they are learning about. Uh, at the end, I would have one big assessment. We would learn a little bit more about the Chinese culture and what New Year's is actually about. And at the very end, I would let them do some scarf dancing improvisation. So here's three different songs, all with different tempos, different uh, articulations, different dynamics. Can you dance to each one and change up how you go? So how is the song going to change how you are dancing? I give my students a couple seconds, listen to it, and then go from there. All right, I see I am a little bit over my time for right now. That's all I have for you. This was a basic general music education class with Leanna O'Brien. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.